Okay, so we have, I'm going to show you, this is big, 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 big thing. People say, how do you keep your wife so slim? All right, we're going to look at obesity and carb intake. So when carbs go down, sugar goes down, obesity still is going up. And that is because people are eating too much fat, animal products, protein. So sugar, carbs going down in society. It's going down all around. Look around, all the sugar tax is going down. Obesity is going up. Here we go. Butter, added fats, going up. Butter. Everybody is just, not everybody, but the, the big people, smashing the people that battle their weight, they're smashing the butter, the animal fats, etc. And this is this is how, this is the science, right? You've got to understand the science. It's very, very simple. Once you understand the, science, understand the science, take action. Red blood cells stick together, less oxygen. The body can't burn fat properly. Insulin is paralyzed, etc., etc. So the more animal products, the more fat you eat, the more fat you wear, the bigger you are. And this is the body mass index. So if you ever see a vegan who's fat, you know they're not really vegan. They're more like a pesco, lacto, vegetarian, semi vegetarian, flexitarian. Let's go to the world's highest sugar consumers. All right, come travel with me. We're going to go for a little holiday in a second. I'm going to show you what diet I put my wife on to keep her slim in that high school year 12 physique for life. And we're going to have, we're going to go to United Arabs. We're going to go to Djibouti. We're going to Belize, Bahrain, Mauritania, Cuba, Belarus, Guyana, Malaysia, Israel. And these people have a pretty high carbohydrate refined sugar consumption that's what they look like so, let's have a look now let's have a look so i typed in uh english women low carb and this is what this is the average women england they're they're on the curvy side the women, average women are on the curvy side and uh that is not going to be the best for health all right it's not going to be best for health so we see even you know a slim uh english person they, they call what's called a muffin top and this one here is like a before and after the average English woman back in the day, sort of pretty slim, and then now just getting the, just the butter, yeah, the butter, and the <laughs> it is just you know, it's the way of the world. People eat more fat, eat more protein, uh, and as a result, you feel more sluggish, can't do any exercise. Now let's go back to that graph. UAE uh, had the United Arabs have a lot of sugar consumption, and then we look up uh, UAE women who eat lots of sugar, and it comes up with you know some sort of slim. Uh, people UAE she looks like she's Chinese <laughs> I'm not sure what she's doing maybe she's a she's visiting UAE picking up some bags of sugar but again Asians Asians live on rice so uh, this person looks more like a an Everett sort of person so we have um, this person here this female so yeah it's this sort of yeah, reasonably slim and these people have a lot of here we go this is a, this is a photo from this is hot uh, weather here we've got the little headpiece thing on there so the women are pretty slim. They're pretty slim. So now let's go to Djibouti. This is a real deal. Uh, women who carb up. And you can just see, this is, I picked this photo. This, this is like a real photo. You know this is real. Like these, so these women are having massive carbohydrate intake. Now you know, you can tell that they're not starving. Yeah, these women, they look at the camera person like, well, are you taking a photo? What is that thing you're holding in your hand? They've probably never seen a camera in their life. But they are carbing up. They're not running marathons they're you know they're having babies so you can see the the mothers over here you, know, you can see the, the, the breast development is different when you have a baby and you breastfeed and you hear to the people who haven't had a baby yet you know it just looks different that's fine nothing wrong with that it's just the body how it works and so you can see they're all similar height and they're all pretty slim aren't they and you're not going to 24 hour fitness they're not riding bikes they just they're probably wearing flip-flops they just walk around and do a bit of exercise nothing too strenuous you know and but they're slim their high carbohydrate diet is slim Guyana is another one, all right? So again, we're talking Guyana, where they love their sugar. So again, this person's not, um, she's not starving, she's slim, she's trim, and uh, you know, it's sort of how it works here. You've got a bit of a, a cross-sectional here. So actually, this is probably, got, it's just probably the best one. This girl here in the middle, she looks like the the real deal girl. Doesn't she? She's probably from the village, eating the rice, eating the fruit, eating the sugar. People like this, they got a bit more of a, a lighter colored skin. They're a bit like, oh, you know, I'm going to, you know, just not do the, the, the village stuff. We'll try to break three from that. So let's have a look for another, another classic traditional. Oh, here we go. This is, this, you know, this photo is real. I'll probably wait on the bus stop. These women, you know, not super, super skinny, but you can sort of see that uh, a lot of them out there, very, very slim. So that she looks like a typical Guyanese lady and, uh, that sort of deal here. So, um, what else have we got here? Let's, let's look at some average everyday shots. This is India. Again, you see, yeah, a lot of slim people in India. 
the necks and the jaws and stuff like that. So there you go. That's the deal there. Um, let's go to another country. Let's go to Kenya. Let's go, we know Kenya lives on a lot of sugar and corn and rice. Kenya women. So here we go. Let's go for some. Let's go. For, let's go to Kenya village women. Let's get out in the country. Let's go for Google holiday. And let's have a little look what we can find here. All right. Now we're going to go for women who haven't been sort of, you know, uh, what's the word? Infiltrated by Western diets as much. And we're going to go for just the average. Um, what's that? Where here we go? So we got. Yeah, here we go. So you know, just that slim, that slim sort of uh, corn rice build that they have. These guys here. Is he jumping up and down? He's got, he's got two pairs of legs. I'm not sure what's going on there. But yeah, again, very slim, very lean. Born we go over here. These people live on corn. Yeah, they live on corn. That's Kenyan style, right? They live on this food called ugali. They're all very, very slim. Here we go. Here's someone's in the, they're, they're, they're harvesting the maize. Look at the old, the grandmother, the older woman. She's in there. She look, look how lean she looks, and she looks pretty fit, doesn't she? Like if you had a little corn farm, you'd be like, yep, you can have a job. And she's probably like sixty or seventy, and she's still doing it. So it, it keeps you slim, keeps you vital, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there you go. That's the deal. The uh, the Kenyans, the uh, all sorts. Here we go. The big, big king of corn. So yeah, that's the deal there. We are looking for uh, examples of uh, cultures who eat different diets and stuff like that. But I, th I think this photo here, you know, you, you can feel it. You know, there's no trolling here. There's no, there's no clickbait. This is the real deal. These women, you know, these are the average sort of physique, body mass index of the average Djibouti women. And they're quite slim, etc. So there you go. That's just goes to show... Um, you carb up and you will look like these village slim people who uh, have a lot of high functioning uh, way of life through a long time just naturally not not naturally but looking natural I should say looking natural and to be slim is to be natural there you go thanks for watching